maybe you've seen those new battery powered bikes. They're called electric or e-bikes, but there's something you do need to be aware of if you've got one. Jennifer Krause is here to tell us what that is. <laughs> Jennifer, good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Well, this is an, a good old fashioned bike that you pedal with your legs. But if you've got an e-bike that's actually powered by battery, you probably should know that there have been a growing number of fires reported. Unfortunately, some of them fatal and they've been caused by these batteries. The FDNY says a battery from an electric bike is the cause for Thursday's fatal apartment fire in the East Village. That was back in December of 2021, where one man died and two children had to cling to an exterior pipe to escape. A year later, New York City's fire department attributed an astonishing 202 fires, 142 injuries, and six deaths to fires caused by electric bike or electric scooter batteries. Similar incidents can be found across the country, all linked to the same problem. When the lithium ion batteries used in e-bikes are poorly made, overused, overcharged, or used with the wrong charger, it can cause fires, and those fires can be violent and difficult to put out. With very little oversight, some companies that make low-quality e-bikes and batteries are finding loopholes to sell their products on e-commerce sites like Amazon. A quick Amazon search shows dozens of e-bikes under $800, which is not a coincidence. There's a trade law that's unofficially known as the Amazon loophole that allows items under $800 to sort of dodge taxes and regulations that other products might have to go through. Amazon told Consumer Reports, we continuously monitor the products sold in our store for product safety concerns, and when appropriate, we remove a product from the store. Because there's a lack of oversight, it's really up to the consumer to look after your own interests. If you're shopping for an e-bike, look for one with a UL certified label. Then be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions for charging and storage, and always use the power adapter and cord supplied by the manufacturer. And don't ever leave the battery charging overnight or when you're not at home. And if you need a new battery, buy it from the same manufacturer as your e-bike. If at any time your battery starts doing anything unusual, like making a hissing sound or if it smells odd, be sure to unplug it immediately. And when you're charging your batteries, make sure that you keep it away from any sort of potential heat source like a heater or direct sunlight. And also make sure that you keep it away from any potentially flammable materials.